Hi, I'm Bella Colwell from Fashion Industry Broadcast, and I'm here today with Instagram's new it girls, Nicole and Danielle, for the second episode of our Out of the Closet series. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. Hi, Bella. How are you? This is what, at the moment, it's obviously always changing, but um, what we wear day to day during winter, especially these coats and trenches and because mm. we feel the cold, I don't know about you, but we're like, <laughs> this one, we're summer people. Yeah. Last week so. we had one of our best friend's wedding, which was, we've never had a winter wedding before and I literally thought I was going to die <laughs> in the dress I had, but we, I wore it with this and this is the softest. Stunning. Mat, so oh soft. my gosh. Yes. Just, yes. It's like a big bear. But I can't live without my fur. Yeah. Well, faux fur. Always loved a good crisp white shirt. This one's just from Country Road, but I just love the little Beautiful. bell sleeves on it. Yeah, classic. Um, yeah, classic staple for the wardrobe. You can pair it with anything, really. And then this one as well, a black blazer. Who doesn't like an oh, oversized yes. black blazer? This is so good, too. And this pleated skirt... I actually got in Perth when we did a shoe campaign. The designer dressed it in me and I put it on me, sorry, and I was like, I'm obsessed with this. Like, I just feel yeah, like Nicole's like, I'm taking this home. Yeah, I ended up buying it off her. Yeah, I ended up buying it off her and I've worn it ever since. That was like three years ago. Favourite, this hanger's just not doing it justice. But, um, I've had this oh, for I a can, few years now. Yeah. It's just a denim onesie jumpsuit. But every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. It's really flattering, yeah. like, obviously. Yeah, it's and not... I'm not the tallest person, so this just makes you look so much taller. It's um, amazing, love it. Yeah, and it's sort of like a vintage sort yeah, of vibe. Yeah, 80s vibe. Yeah, yeah, so I'm obsessed with that piece. Amazing. What moment in your life did you realise you wanted to be in the fashion industry? A lot of our friends and family were like, you girls need to do something in fashion because mm. we were, like, obsessed. Even when we were younger, we'd do runway shows and yeah, style room, each other over the <laughs> room we shared was literally from there was to there not even and we'd get a whole heap of clothes and by the time one twin was at the end of the runway the other one had to be dressed <laughs> and ready dressed style yeah. Yeah. Oh. we've just always been obsessed with fashion so this just works for us doing a vlog yeah that's amazing you're so lucky yeah. especially being twins i guess it is more unique because there are a lot of i guess solo bloggers mm. out there so when designers do approach us they're like oh great you can wear two pieces from the range yeah i guess we do get more opportunities with labels in that in that sense which is good yeah. even our pages like we have a lot more response when we're both in the shot or both styled together i know when we do solos matchy, we get like stuff. solo shots we get like half the likes i swear mm. yeah our people are like oh, boring one yeah. person yeah, yeah. yeah. we have okay. a lot more engagement with two of us rather than one i think people do vibe the whole twin yeah thing. they That's love the great. whole twin thing what's the main difference between your styles uh, yeah, i'm know. obsessed with like jeans um mm -hmm. obviously <laughs> um, she's boots, always in jeans lately vintage like... pieces and nicole's obsessed with the classic points slip Midi dresses. dresses yeah i'm Beautiful. more dresses or like sneakers i'll wear sneakers more than you obviously not today but you'll wear jeans and yeah. vintagey earthy tones and yeah Beautiful, complementing each other, really. So who would you say your number one fashion inspiration would be, living local and international? Probably local, I would say Christine Centenera, because mm. she is just her style. She's blazers, she's mm, sleeves, she's denim, yeah. she's um, everything. She, yeah, she's killing it. Every outfit I'm like, yep, want, she love, just <laughs> buy. Yeah, she just Mine. puts together pieces yeah. that we're like... <laughs> How did you even think mm. of that? Like I know, I'm always copying. I'm like, how did she put those shoes with that top? She just yeah. makes it work, yeah. Copying that. Um, international, who would you say? Rosie Huntington. Mm. I, don't do, I think she styles herself, but I, we just love how she's, she dresses so simple. Like, Yeah, she's always in jeans and boots and things, but I don't know, it's just simple, classy, elegant. It just 
yeah. Mm. yeah. Some people like, can just make it look yeah. so easy. <laughs> and I feel like anyone, any girl could copy her image, but in like a probably more cheaper version. What is one item in your wardrobe that you cannot live without? One probably, item. Um, I don't have it today, but I've got a simple silk slip black dress. Mm. Wear it with everything. I wear t-shirts under it, like style it like this, like layer in, or I literally in summer, I just wear it to death. And I'm, even my fiance will be like, you've got so many clothes and you're always in that. I'm yeah. like, it's just comfy. I don't have to wear a bra with it. Like it's, I definitely couldn't live without it. Mine would probably be jeans. Your probably. ASOS pair. Is that yeah, your ASOS probably pair? this pair I live in. They're just like, um, like a They look very ASOS. comfortable. I just got these the other day and I'm obsessed because they did the custom little D oh, on the pocket. Cute. They're vintage Levi's. Beautiful. Now, should we do a little bit of a catwalk with a few outfits of yours? Yeah. yeah. You guys look so comfortable on the runway, which is great considering you are in the limelight. <laughs> so tell us, how did you get into the social media world? Yeah, basically we've always had a love for fashion. We've always been obsessed with fashion growing up. And I guess social media came along and we, we started following all these influencers and bloggers and we were just like, hang on. We thought, why can't we do that? We could, <laughs> we could do, we that. Could do that. Yeah, <laughs> so um, it's like Instagram's given us such a great platform to share our creativity to show people mm. our love for fashion and yeah we've been really lucky these pants sorry i've been wanting to ask all day so i wore these at my hen's lunch which my nan made me your nan made them yeah so our nan she's was a seamstress clever. growing up she's so clever so we'll show her Stunning. basically show her a design and she that copies actually, it and we design stuff with her yeah because she's basically like an older version of us loves her fashion loves everything to do with definitely where we got it from. designing <laughs> um which is i designed my own wedding dress with her actually as well um but she yeah she helped me design these as well well thank you so much for having us into your home it's been so nice thank and you. we've loved thank seeing all your stunning clothes yeah so thank you and we'll see you soon we'll hope you group, up. group up love it <laughs>